One of the major sticking points for understanding the book of Revelation as an apocalypse in the apocalyptic genre is that it seems so obscure to us today that it's hard to understand how it could ever have been really clear. How could something that uses such vibrant and sometimes bizarre imagery have been easy to understand for the original readers? So today, I'm just going to read you a very short modern apocalypse that if Revelation was written today and written for America, this is sort of what it would have sounded like. Just to give you sort of a feel of how the people would have understood Revelation when it was first written. As I was praying, I saw the world stretched out before me with nations scurrying around before me like ants. But then I watched as a nation rose in the shape of an eagle with beak and talons of hardened steel. The eagle claimed to follow the lamb, and so many believers flocked to it. I watched as the eagle grew powerful and subdued all nations before it, tearing and rending all who opposed it, and forcing the other nations to serve it. In this way, the eagle grew rich beyond measure, and people worshipped the eagle for its power and wealth. The eagle promised the world freedom, but as I watched those of the lamb's children that followed the eagle, were instead chained to it, and taught that to worship the eagle was to worship God himself. And many were led astray and deceived, so that they worshipped a false god. They even brought images of the eagle into their house of worship, defiling it by worshipping the eagle alongside of God. The lamb saw his children led away and chained to another, and wept, and I wept with him. But I heard the voice of God say to me, Do not be afraid. Many will be led astray, but the sins of the eagle will be shown to all. I will reveal the eagle's trickery and strike it to the ground with a noise that will shake the earth never to rise again. Then it will be cast into endless torment, along with all of those who worshipped the eagle instead of me alone. Then my people will know that I alone am God, that no matter how high a bird can fly, it will never reach into my dwelling place. And I wept, because I saw blood flowing like rivers and the children of God still mourning over the death of the eagle and longing for its return. Now, if that ticked you off, that is completely and utterly understandable. But that meant you understood it. That is the reaction that Revelation would have gotten. It is a reinterpretation of the day's events through the eyes of God and vibrant imagery that shows how God sees what we take for granted. But I'm willing to bet that was perfectly understandable to most of you. Offensive to some, yes, but understandable. Revelation and other apocalyptic works would have been understandable in that same sense to their original readers. What we have lost today is the context. And do you notice how it isn't so much predicting the future as it's simply saying what the consequences of the present day actions are going to be. So there isn't a specific timeline. It is simply what's going on today, seen through the eyes of God, and then immediately jumping to the end of time and the future consequences of those events that are going on. That is apocalyptic literature in a very short condensed form. And I hope that this example helps you to understand better how people could have understood Revelation so clearly in the early days, and yet we read it and don't have a clue. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you next video.